This is an animated supplement for Chapter 13, Little Round Top, from the book Our Fathers at Gettysburg by Jack Kunkel. While General Ward's Federal Brigade up on Hawk's Ridge fights off attackers in its front, Confederate regiments from Laws and Robertson's Brigade, specifically the 4th and 5th Texas and the 4th Alabama, charge through Plum Run Valley, heading towards Little Round Top. On the opposite north side of the hill, Federal regiments of Vincent's Brigade also race to the top of the hill. The Federals win the race with just minutes to spare. Meanwhile, two of Law's regiments, the 15th and 47th Alabama, climb up Big Round Top, where they fight and finally drive off skirmishers from the 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters Brigade. Also, the 48th Alabama back in Plum Run Valley duels with the 4th Maine, assisting the 44th Alabama. Back up on Little Round Top, Vincent deploys his four regiments on the southwestern side of the hill, just as the Confederates are scrambling up. All four regiments put out skirmishers, but one of note here is the one sent out by the 20th Maine on the left side of the line, where the regiment's commander, Colonel Chamberlain, sends out Company B to the far left at the bottom of the hill. Now the Confederates attack primarily directed against the two center regiments, the 83rd Pennsylvania and 44th New York. The two Texas regiments in the 4th Alabama attack twice but are driven back. The exhausted 4th Alabama now falls out of the fight. Meanwhile, the 47th and 15th Alabama descend from Big Round Top and attack Little Round Top, particularly the 83rd Pennsylvania and the 20th Maine. In brutal fighting, the two Alabama regiments are pushed back. The 47th Alabama, also exhausted and its commander down, falls out of the fight. While all this is going on, Lieutenant Hazlitt somehow manages to drag up his six 10-pounder cannons, but on the top of the hill his guns can't depress enough to hit the charging Confederates, so he mainly fires for effect, simply to frighten the enemy, which it no doubt does. Now the 48th Alabama which is still relatively fresh, advances through Plum Run Valley to join the two Texas regiments in another attack. Meanwhile, on top of the hill, Meade's chief engineer, General Warren, races back down the hill looking for more help. He spots the 140th New York and convinces its commander to follow him back up. As the 140th races up the hill on the north side, the 48th Alabama and the two Texas regiments attack the small 16th Michigan Regiment begins to fall back under the blows of the 48th Alabama. Just at the last moment, the 140th New York reaches the top of the hill. The men had barely enough time to load their weapons. They charge the 48th Alabama and drive it and the Texas Regiments back down the hill for the final time. The right side of the Union line on Little Round Top is secure. At probably about the same time as the 140th New York reached the top of the hill on the right of the Union line, on the left side of the line, the 20th Maine again came under attack by the 15th Alabama. After attacking two or three times in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, the Alabamians began sliding around the left flank of the 20th Maine. But with nearly the last of their energy, the Maine men stopped the Alabamians' attack. Exhausted, without water, Low on ammunition, and with no support on his left, the 15th commander, Colonel Oates, finally decided he had to retreat, and he gave orders to prepare to do so. But just at that moment, the 20th Maine's commander, Colonel Chamberlain, ordered a counterattack. Also about that time, Company B, which had been hidden in the woods, along with some second U.S. sharpshooters, suddenly raised up and began firing. It was too much for the Alabamians and they broke into total disarray and retreat. The 20th Maine chased them halfway up Big Round Top before Chamberlain could call his men off. That ended the major fighting on Little Round Top, and the hill remained solidly in federal hands. For much more on this battle, including descriptions by the soldiers involved, as well as photos, illustrations, and Google links to the actual battlefield locations, please refer to this book.